Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some cutting. I feel like putting this front end on this Honda Civic, it's gonna be sweet. We haven't done anything like this in a long time, so I'm kind of pumped for today's video. Hopefully you are too. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoy this kind of thing. Thank you, kisses. Cool. See, I'm gonna have to merge these two bases together, which I don't think is gonna be a big deal. They're about the same thickness roughly the same size so i'm hoping we'll be able to do the merge and i'll just paint them black at the end i'm opening it ah look at it it's beautiful things got some good weight to it too i love that little car and i saw this one i had to pick it up compact kings the nash hell yeah Look at this thing, it's awesome, except for the wheels they chose. I don't know what's going on here, man. There's little pizza cutters on all four sides. So I'm kinda, I'm kinda confused, but at the same time, hell yeah, man. Those air intakes are supposed to be dice. Isn't that pimp? I'm gonna leave these out because they're so sweet. This is definitely the first time I've ever done a dual strip. Let me get a file. This is gonna be awesome. I don't know if this transition is gonna be as nice as I was hoping. I think we'll be good gluing that in place and then we'll just make the little transition on the sides here with the putty. You know what I mean, Vern? You know what's gonna make this even more awesome? Look at this. We're gonna be putting some of these reproduction red lines on the back, so I gotta open up the wheel wells a little bit, but we're gonna leave them sticking out the side like that. And then for the front, I got these little itty bitty red lines. And we're gonna run these way out on the front next to the engine. So it's gonna be real sweet. I just gotta liberate these from this old base. I don't know what this little bump is right here. I don't know if it's some sort of antenna or just a piece of slag, but I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of it. It's messing up my roof line, man. So before I start doing some puttying, I'm gonna just double check and make sure engine and everything's gonna work. I'll probably do the base swappage and snippage and whatever else we gotta do here. You know what these little wheels would be just perfect for? <laughs> The Snoopy Mobile, look, they're perfect. They're just the exact size. It's hilarious. So that's the back of the Civic. Just in there, I gotta do a little bit of, a little bit of sanding. <laughs> gleek, gleek, gleek. I love it. One of the problems I'm having with this is this front base is designed to, to hang a little bit low. A Honda Civic base is designed to be flush underneath the car. For me to marry those two together, it's gonna be hanging out the bottom like that just because they're two different designs. I'm gonna get rid of this all together and we're gonna build a brand new one out of some styrene and it should fix our problems and make a little skinny version of the same thing. Hell yeah, man, that's looking real good. We have to get out our wheel well manipulator tool here. Let's see, I got a couple different sizes of these little drum 
sanders and that's about the size of my rear wheel i need so i should be able to just lean into it a little bit and end up with a nice wheel well You know how fast that would be? And put on quite a bit here to try to fill in that void. I'm gonna let that dry overnight and hopefully I can sand that out and it just looks perfect. I think I'd like to give this a couple coats of primer just so I can double check the body work. So maybe we'll do that quick and see if I got to do any extra sanding or not. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go with on this one, so I kind of just started throwing a bunch of different reds in a cup. It's mostly blood red, but I added some brandy wine and some magenta. I kind of sat here for, for a good 40 minutes humming and hawing over paint colors, and ultimately, you can't really go wrong with red when it comes to uh, a car that's got a big engine on the front of it, so I'm playing the odds on this one that most people are gonna like a bright red. Yo, Civic here is looking pretty good. I put some extra sparkles on there to make sure she sparkles like a, like a bass boat in the night. But we need something extra, so let me print out a stencil. Just terminate those flames right at the firewall and then we'll just dust these things real lightly with some sparkles maybe and we'll just make, it'll be subtle flame weak. I ended up going in and I hit our flames with some gold sparkle. So I'm hoping there's enough on there where you can actually see the flame pattern. I guess we'll find out. That doesn't look like much right now, but it should really stand out once we get some clear coat on there. I'm hoping anyways. So I'm going to move on to doing some details here because I'd like to get this thing clear coated. I'm just gonna finish up the assembly here and we'll do the reveal under some proper lighting. No, 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 Jimmy. Check it out. We have an extremely rare Honda Civic Redline, one of a kind. I think she turned out pretty sweet. 
I like this thing, man. This little buggy would haul ass. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're into this kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Say hello in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.